What is up, my weebs and otakus? It's your favorite cat girl boy, Otaku no Fuji. And today I'm going to play Love Esquire on the Switch. This is a... It's a visual novel, dating sim, time management sim, light RPG. <laughs> I normally... I mean, I don't really like... I don't like visual novels and I don't play dating sims because I don't really think it's worth the effort. Because <laughs> it's like, I can just go look up hentai pictures on the internet. I don't need to play a visual novel to see anime girls. But I bought this game because it just looked interesting. You play as a character who's a nobody. He's not the hero. He's not the strongest. He's not the, you know, he's not going to save the world. He's a nobody loser idiot that for whatever reason, all of these girls fall in love with him. There's two different princesses and a kind of a warrior girl that's tiny. There's a crazy, she's the nurse in the village, but she's crazy. And then there's, of course, your sister. Who's your stepsister? So that's fine. But as you play, obviously, you unlock all this artwork, including some pretty good looking stuff. <laughs> That's, that's his sister, dude, but it's his stepsister, so it's fine, apparently. Ah, oh, look at that. She loves it. She's like, ah, oh, does this swimsuit make my butt look big? And it's all like, yes, it's great. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I ended up with her as my, as the first one that I did. There might be nudity in this. I don't know that there is, though. At least not on the Switch version. On the you, know, you play it on Steam, of course there is. I mean, there's butts. There's cleavage. You get to see her changing. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is the crazy one. She's the nurse, but she's crazy. Oh man, how did I get in all these crazy situations? <laughs> I don't even remember how most of this happened. See, there's another butt. Uh, oh, hello. Like I said, it's playing these games because you want to see anime girl nudity is sort of pointless. Because it's just like, it's so much effort. But basically what you do is you just, you can see where the girls are on the map. And you just go talk to the girls and see what they want and uh, increase your relationship with them. And you can train your strength and your charisma and your intelligence that helps you when you do the battle part of the game. Hey, Giselle. I need help. What? But that's what? another interesting thing is basically all of the dialogue is voiced and it's by recognizable voice actors. But see, I'm only at orange level with her, so I, I still have a ways to go with her. <laughs> but one thing about this game too is that it's, it's pretty on the nose. It's, it's like your character's horny, and as you become friends with all these girls, they definitely get horny, <laughs> and the dialogue, sort of you know, shifts in those directions and gets more conversational and funny. Don't worry, I have a plan. You know, it's not all boring. What is it? Like a lot of these games kind of can be. You're basically the dude from Konosuba. Who starts off as a loser dork, but eventually becomes kind of okay. And girls like him even though they know he's a perv. You know! It's just like that. Wait, what? No! Ah! Woo! Reward! <laughs> I haven't done this yet, so this is my first time seeing it. Ah! Oh, that's a cute swimsuit. Nice! But we're going to... I'll show you the combat. You up for an adventure? Alright! Epic loot! I've actually already eaten job. everything. So we'll just go do... You know, like this one. 
it plays like a turn-based RPG where you're just support. And what you can do is you can taunt and attract their attention. You can steal money that they drop. You can heal the other guy and yourself. And you can cheer. And, and the stats change based on your stats. See, he shows the other guy porn and that motivates him. <laughs> but by training your intelligence and charisma and, and strength, it increases his HP and it increases his attack power and all that stuff. I'm gonna steal stuff. $800, that's nothing. But that's the other funny thing is that you're a nobody squire, so you get like 1% of the money that you steal. <laughs> but by the end of the 15 missions, you actually have to be pretty strategic. Because the bosses do a ton of damage and they have shields and they have all sorts of stuff. But you can go to this plaza and you can buy presents for the girls. Although it's going to be closed. And you know, you give the, the girls the presents that they like and then they like you more. And then you get more of those kind of story cutscenes where they show you the goods. But this, I don't normally play stuff like this, but this, this game is, it really hooked me. I can pet the dog. He didn't give me anything. Oh, she likes me. She pretends like she doesn't, but she does. Like I said, I don't normally play games like this, but this has enough depth and it has enough other stuff going on that makes it interesting. More so than other dating sims. Because I, I don't care about dating sims. But I liked this one because the concept of you being a nobody that sucks was interesting. What kind of gift do you want? She'll probably hate it all. I think I've given her a bouquet before. Maybe not. Really? For me? Wow, this Nice! I'm so good at giving presents! Oh wow, she loved it. This game is $25, but it has surprisingly high production values. It has pretty decent waifus. Oh. I like the story, I like I like the girls, I like everything. But yeah, this is, it's Love Esquire, it's on the Switch, it's on Steam. You know, of course Steam will be steamier. But I like this game. For 25 bucks, it's on sale quite a bit too. But, you know, if you want a visual novel in a dating sim that's a little bit different, that has, it's a different perspective for the main character, and it has the RPG combat gameplay and the training aspect of it, definitely give it a look. I'm impressed with it. And like I said, the production values are higher than you'd expect. This was Love Esquire on the Nintendo Switch. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe because I'm going to keep pumping out more videos just like this one.